I thought that both of the stories that we read this week are valuable to today's modern culture because they can all both relate to things that people are struggling with as of right now. In Flannery O'Connor's story, there is a bigger woman who walks into a waiting room and as she walks in, she's looking around at all the people that are sitting in there and she's judging people based on their appearance. Um, and because of Flannery O'Connor's religious background, it kind of threw me off because it is such a horrible look, outlook that this main character has. So it kind of kept me wondering, like, what would happen on later in the story? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, in the meantime, a young teenager who has been kind of standing by and listening to the things that Mrs. Turpin is saying, she finally loses it and condemns her by saying that she's wrong and she's basically the devil and that she should be ashamed of herself for saying these things about people she doesn't even know. And Mrs. Turpin, of course, is extremely offended by this accusation to the point where she goes home, she cries a little bit, and she loses sleep because she's just so obsessed over what this girl said to her. <clears throat> so the next day she goes out to her slaves and she kind of vents and tells like, what happened and she finally sees that they have no sympathy because that's how they felt their whole lives just because of how they look and what color they are. And I thought it was really beautiful how she finally realized that Words can hurt a person so much, even if you don't think they, that it will. And that you shouldn't judge a person by the way they look, because that's just wrong. Um, in Tolstoy's story, Abel kind of tag teams with the devil and does whatever he can to anger his master. And um, it just kind of shows how the devil will stop at nothing to try to destroy someone's life. And um, I thought it was beautiful how no matter what Abel did to his master, um, he was able to see what his intent was all along. So instead of punishing him like anyone else would, he decided to do the unthinkable and do what Jesus would want us to do. And he showed grace. Um, upon Abel, who was doing his best to just make things horrible for them. And so I think that these stories are really um, just good reminders that we really need to be careful of what we say and what we do because it could just be like the horriblest thing. It's not a word, but whatever. So, yeah.